Hello, welcome to One Moment Wiser. This is Christy Bridges and it's Trade In Tuesday. Today, let's trade our old ways for transformation. In order for Paul to do the mission God had in mind for him, Holy Spirit had to do a huge transformation. He'd been zealous to the point of holding people's coats while they stoned Christians to death. That takes a brutal mindset. This same man later wrote 1 Corinthians 13, which has taught generations of people about what love is like. In Galatians 5.22, he described the fruits of the Spirit as love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, self-control. This transformation didn't happen overnight. Now, I'm sure Jesus did a tremendous work in Paul the moment he met him. But I know from experience, our thinking patterns, our assumptions about how life should be and how people should act, what's important, those things change only with time spent in prayer, in communion with others, and continuous submission to God. Now, in Philippians 3, 12 through 16, in the message, Paul says, I'm not saying I have all this together, that I've made it, but I'm well on my way, reaching out for Christ, who has so wondrously reached out for me. Friends, don't get me wrong. By no means do I count myself an expert in all this, but I've got my eye on the goal, where God is beckoning us onward to Jesus. I'm off and running, and I'm not turning back, so let's keep focused on the goal. Those of us who want everything God has for us, if any of you have something else in mind, something less than total commitment, God will clear your blurred vision. You'll see it yet. Now that we're on the right track, let's stay on it. God bless you today.